Welcome folks. Today, we're diving deep into the world of human skin, specifically the seven layers of skin. Now, you might be thinking, why does this matter to me? Well, let me tell you, the skin is more than just a wrapping that covers our body. It's an intriguing organ that serves as our first line of defense against the outside world, and it's packed with complexities that are both fascinating and essential to understand. The skin, our largest organ, is a multifunctional marvel. It regulates body temperature, detects and reacts to changes in our environment, and even synthesizes vitamin D. But perhaps the most significant role our skin plays is that of a protective barrier. It shields our internal organs, bones, and muscles from external threats like bacteria, viruses, harmful sun rays, and physical injuries. Now, when we talk about skin, we often imagine it as a single layer. But did you know that our skin is actually composed of seven distinct layers? Yes, you heard that right. Seven layers of skin, each with its own unique role and function. These layers range from the outermost epidermis that interacts directly with the environment down to the innermost subcutaneous layer, also known as the hypodermis. Understanding these seven layers of skin can provide us with a deeper appreciation of our body's complexity and resilience. It can also shed light on why certain skin conditions occur and how we can better care for our skin. After all, healthy skin is not just about looking good, it's also about feeling good and maintaining overall health. So, whether you're a skincare enthusiast wanting to know more about your body's largest organ, a student studying human biology, or just someone curious about the world, this journey through the seven layers of skin is bound to be enlightening. So, buckle up as we navigate through the seven layers of skin. Starting from the very surface, we're met with the epidermis, the first layer of the seven layers of skin. Picture this layer as the front line of defense, the shield that stands between our delicate insides and the harsh outside world. The epidermis is an intricate, multi-layered structure, a marvel of natural engineering that is constantly at work. It's not just a static barrier. It's a living, breathing part of us, continuously creating and shedding skin cells throughout our lives. It's our very own renewable resource, if you will. This dynamic layer is made up of several sub-layers. Starting from the top, we have the stratum corneum, which is mostly composed of dead skin cells and keratin, a type of protein that's also found in our hair and nails. Below this, we find the stratum lucidum, a thin layer that's predominantly seen in areas of thick skin, like the soles of our feet. Following this, we have the stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, and finally the stratum basal, the birthplace of new skin cells. Now, the epidermis doesn't just serve as a physical barrier, it's also a chemical one. It produces melanin, the pigment that gives our skin, hair, and eyes their color. More than just a cosmetic feature, melanin plays a crucial role in protecting our skin from harmful ultraviolet rays. Think of the epidermis as a tireless, vigilant sentry, ever on alert. It keeps harmful substances out, prevents the loss of essential body fluids, and wards off the damaging effects of the sun. But its duty doesn't stop there. It also plays an essential role in our sense of touch, with nerve endings that let us feel the world around us. It's our interface with the world, and without it, we would be quite literally exposed. As we peel back the epidermis, we uncover the many layers that lie beneath in our journey through the seven layers of skin. The complexity of our skin is a testament to the incredible intricacy of the human body, a marvel that we often take for granted. But remember, understanding and appreciating this complexity is the first step towards proper skin care. As we journey deeper into the seven layers of skin, let's take a brief pause. If you're enjoying this deep dive and wanna learn more about the intricacies of our bodies and how to better your health, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's quick, it's free, and it's the best way to stay updated on our latest videos. By subscribing, you're joining a community of curious minds, all here to learn, grow, and understand the marvel that is the human body. So go ahead, click that button, and let's continue our exploration into the seven layers of skin. We're just getting started. Beneath the epidermis, we find the dermis, our second player in the seven layers of skin. Nestled just under the surface, the dermis is a robust and dynamic layer that's more than just skin deep. Imagine the dermis as a bustling city teeming with activity. It's a complex network of blood vessels, nerve endings, hair follicles, and sweat glands. This lively layer is primarily composed of a protein called collagen, which gives our skin its strength, and elastin, which provides elasticity. 
Just like the steel beams of a skyscraper, these elements work together to create a sturdy yet flexible infrastructure. Now let's talk about some of the essential functions this layer performs. First off, it's a vital player in temperature regulation. When you're feeling warm, the blood vessels in the dermis expand, allowing more blood to flow near the skin's surface, helping you cool down. On the contrary, when you're cold, these vessels constrict, reducing blood flow to conserve your body's heat. But the dermis's job doesn't end there. It also serves as a sensory hub. It's packed with nerve endings that relay messages to your brain, allowing you to feel sensations like touch, temperature, and pain. Ever wonder how you can tell the difference between silk and sandpaper, or why you pull your hand away from a hot stove? Well, you have your dermis to thank for that. Lastly, let's discuss elasticity. The dermis is responsible for your skin's ability to stretch and return to its original shape. You know, the reason you can make all those funny faces and still look just as charming afterwards. The dermis, with its diverse functions and components, truly does a lot of heavy lifting in our skin structure. It's a bustling metropolis that never sleeps, constantly working to keep us feeling and looking our best. As we delve deeper into the seven layers of skin, we discover the intricate workings of our bodies. The journey through our skin layers is truly a fascinating exploration of the human body's complexity and marvel. Going deeper into the skin, we reach the hypodermis, another key layer in the seven layers of skin. Now, let's dive into the hypodermis, the most profound layer of our skin. It's often referred to as the subcutaneous layer or subcutaneous tissue. Unlike the other layers, the hypodermis is primarily made up of fat cells known as adipocytes. These adipocytes serve as energy reservoirs, storing fat that can be broken down and used as fuel when the body needs it. Imagine the hypodermis as the skin's personal energy bank, storing energy for a rainy day. But it isn't just a storage unit, it's also a fantastic insulator. The hypodermis helps to regulate our body temperature by insulating our bodies against heat loss. It's like having your very own personal blanket keeping you warm on those chilly winter nights. But the hypodermis doesn't stop there. It also plays a crucial role in connecting the skin to the underlying tissues of our bodies. It's like the glue that holds everything together. This layer contains a network of collagen and elastin fibers, which anchor the skin to the underlying muscles and bones. It's a bit like attaching a piece of fabric to a frame, allowing the skin to move and flex with the body while still remaining firmly attached. The hypodermis also houses larger blood vessels and nerves than the other skin layers. These blood vessels provide the skin with essential nutrients and oxygen, while the nerves carry sensory information from the skin to the brain. It's like a super highway of communication keeping everything in sync. And let's not forget about the role of the hypodermis in cushioning. The layer of fat serves as a shock absorber, protecting our internal organs from impact. It's like having a built-in airbag system, ready to protect you from life's little bumps and knocks. So whether it's storing energy, insulating against the cold, attaching the skin to the rest of the body, supplying nutrients, or providing a protective cushion, the hypodermis is a hard-working and essential part of the seven layers of skin. Unraveling the hypodermis brings us closer to the core of the seven layers of skin. Now, we move on to the sublayers of the epidermis, which are part of our seven layers of skin. Dive into the intricacies of the skin's uppermost layer, the epidermis, and you'll find it's not as simple as it seems. It's actually divided into five distinct stratum layers, each with its unique role and importance. Let's start with the outermost layer, the stratum corneum. This layer is akin to a fortress wall, protecting the more delicate layers beneath. It's composed of dead skin cells that your body continuously sheds and replaces. So, the skin you're looking at right now, it's a layer of history, telling the story of your body's hard work. Next, we have the stratum lucidum, this thin, clear layer only exists in areas of the skin that are especially thick, like the soles of your feet or the palms of your hands. Its job is to provide an extra level of protection and elasticity in these high traffic areas. The third layer, the stratum granulosum, is where the magic happens. This layer is responsible for creating the lipids and fats that hydrate your skin and give it that healthy glow. It also produces keratin, the protein that makes your skin tough and resilient. Moving deeper, we find the stratum spinosum. This layer is packed with keratinocytes, the cells that produce keratin. They're called spiny layer cells because under a microscope, they look a bit like tiny sea urchins. These cells not only contribute to your skin's strength, but also play a role in your immune response. 
helping your body to fend off infections. Last but definitely not least, we come to the stratum basal. This is the innermost layer of the epidermis and it's a hotbed of activity. It's here that new skin cells are born thanks to the rapid division of basal cells. As these new cells mature, they make their journey upward, eventually becoming part of the stratum corneum and completing the circle of life for your skin. Each of these stratum layers plays a crucial role in maintaining the health and integrity of your skin. They work together to protect your body from environmental hazards, keep moisture in, and provide a flexible, resilient barrier. They also play a significant role in healing wounds and regenerating your skin. So while the skin may seem like a simple, passive barrier, it's actually a complex, active organ that's constantly working to keep you healthy. Every layer, every cell has a job to do, and they do it well. The better we understand these sublayers and their functions, the more effectively we can care for our skin and keep it looking and feeling its best. Exploring these sublayers adds another dimension to our understanding of the seven layers of skin. It's a fascinating journey and it's far from over. Stick around as we delve deeper into the mysteries of your body's largest organ. The more we learn about the skin, the more there is to appreciate. Having explored the seven layers of skin, we now turn our attention to the importance of skin care. Skin care is not just a vanity project. It's a crucial part of maintaining overall health. The skin acts as our body's first line of defense against harmful elements in the environment. Therefore, it's essential to keep it healthy and robust. As we age, our skin naturally undergoes changes. It becomes thinner and less elastic, making it more susceptible to damage. Aging also slows down the skin's ability to heal itself, making it vital to give it the care it needs to stay resilient. A good skincare routine does more than just keep you looking fresh and youthful. It helps to keep all seven layers of skin functioning optimally. Regular cleansing gets rid of dirt and excess oils, preventing clogged pores and breakouts. Moisturizing helps to maintain the skin's natural moisture barrier, keeping it hydrated and protected. And let's not forget the importance of sunscreen in protecting our skin from harmful ultraviolet rays, which can lead to premature aging and skin cancer. But how does understanding the seven layers of skin help with skin care? Well, different skin care products are designed to target different layers of the skin. For example, exfoliants work on the surface layer, helping to remove dead skin cells and reveal the fresh, healthy skin underneath. On the other hand, ingredients like retinol and vitamin C penetrate deeper, promoting collagen production in the dermis to improve skin elasticity and reduce signs of aging. By understanding the structure and function of the seven layers of skin, you can make more informed choices about the products you use. You'll know what each product does, which layer it targets, and how it benefits your skin. In essence, you'll be able to tailor your skincare routine to your skin's specific needs, ensuring it gets the care it deserves. Remember, your skincare habits directly impact the health of your seven layers of skin. As we wrap up our journey through the seven layers of skin, let's take a moment to reflect. We've traveled from the surface of the skin, the epidermis, all the way to the deepest layer, the hypodermis. And along the way, we've discovered just how complex and crucial our skin truly is. We started with the epidermis, that outermost layer that serves as our body's first line of defense against the outside world. It's tough, it's resilient, and it's continuously working to protect us from harmful elements. Then we delved deeper into the dermis, the skin's second layer. This is where all the magic happens, folks. It's home to our sweat glands, hair follicles, and blood vessels. It's the dermis that gives our skin its elasticity and strength. We ventured further still into the hypodermis. This is the layer that connects the skin to the underlying tissue. It's our body's natural insulator, keeping us warm when it's cold outside and cool when it's hot. But of course, we didn't stop there. We explored the intricate sublayers, the stratum layers, each with a unique role to play in maintaining the health and vitality of our skin. Finally, we discussed the importance of skin care. We learned that taking care of these seven layers can help maintain our skin's health, prevent premature aging, and ward off skin diseases. Our skin is more than just a surface. It's a living, breathing organ that's always on the job. It's a marvel of biological engineering, a testament to the wonders of the human body. So let's not take it for granted. Let's appreciate it for the complex, essential organ it is. Let's take care of it each and every day because it takes care of us. Remember, every layer plays a part, so treat all seven layers of skin with the care they deserve. Before we wrap up, 
we have a small request. If you found this video insightful and want to learn more about such fascinating health-related topics, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Here, we strive to demystify the wonders of the human body, helping you understand how it works and how you can take care of it. By subscribing, you'll be joining a community of individuals who are passionate about health and wellness. You'll also get access to a wealth of information that can help you make informed decisions about your health and well-being. Understanding these seven layers of skin is just the beginning. There's so much more to explore, from the mysteries of the human brain to the intricacies of our digestive system. And remember, each piece of knowledge equips you with the power to take better care of yourself and your loved ones. So hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and join us on this journey of discovery. Remember, knowledge is power. Subscribe and empower yourself.